Hello everybody, my name is Megan and I'm so glad you are here today. If you like what you see, you can go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, you can go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Thanks guys. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. So today is Tuesday since we didn't have school yesterday because it was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We have school today and it's really hard subbing or teaching in general on the first day back from a long um, break and stuff so it's been tough um i did a half day this morning in third grade which went okay it was really lots of like very chatty and um i don't know it was just i was like kind of excited to leave and then I am doing a half day in first grade, which has been really tough, really, really tiring, and honestly, I'm ready to go home. Um, but we still have math to do, so <sighs> gotta get through this, guys. You might have heard of this, but in case you haven't, there is a website called Brain Pop Junior. And it is a good source for finding really educational videos that are fun and exciting for the kids to watch. I also just found today, because this class was using it, it is called code.org. It is basically just a place where kids can code. So this is saying welcome to the hour of code and then they have Star Wars, they have Frozen, and other things like that that were really cool and you guys can check those out code.org hey everybody it is wednesday already wow it's crazy <laughs> um and i am in a second grade class today and when i walked in i had to start right away and they were all so sweet they're like she's so pretty she looks like she's 20 like oh they were so cute and then I was like, hi, this is my name, and all of that stuff, and yeah, they just seem so sweet, so I'm hoping the rest of the day kind of follow suit, and that they're just like sweet all day, but sometimes um, when you come in and you're like fun, they think they can take advantage of you, so hopefully that doesn't happen, hopefully they're just sweet and respectful. Um, I did tell them that as a sub, I do like to play games if they are getting their work done. So hopefully that'll kind of motivate them to be respectful and get their work done and all that stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys a couple of cool things that I've already seen in this classroom as ideas for your future classroom or your current classroom. So a super cute way that you could organize is getting these little bins and having the label of what it is inside put on it. I think it's a super cute way to organize and it looks like a really cute decoration instead of just like big bins filled with all your stuff. This is the other thing that I thought was really cool. They have um, this calendar and then all of the dates on the calendar have a flag of a different country on them so I thought that was really cool and just a fun way to incorporate other cultures and countries and stuff like that. Another thing I've noticed, which I've seen, I think on one YouTube channel, but never in the classroom, is this little behavior chart. So it just goes down and then you can put their names on it of kind of like how they're doing and things like that, which I think is a great idea for um, just having the kids like visually see where they're at kind of in everything and to think about their behavior and see that they can move up and down throughout the day. So it is the end of the day. I'm actually just doing some grading. So the kids did a sheet on expanded form as well as a sheet on word form. 
of numbers. So I'm just going through and looking if they got the correct answer and then circling if they didn't. And otherwise, it was a great afternoon and it was awesome. I did accept two jobs for tomorrow and I accepted two because both, well, the first one got canceled and then the second one got canceled. So I had to accept another one <sighs> and it was kind of frustrating like that they can just cancel on you, but I'm sure there's a good reason. Maybe they had someone else in mind and I was quick or something. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, it was a great day. I'm going to be back in the school tomorrow in fourth grade. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. See you guys then. Bye. It is Thursday and I'm doing another half day. Um, like I told you guys, the other ones got canceled. So yay. <laughs> um, so I'm in a fourth grade class. Actually at the same school as at yesterday, which is really nice. And, um, yeah, they just went to recess, and then I'll be picking them up and staying with them for lunch. And they seem really independent. They're working on their own projects and stuff right now. So, um, yeah, I came in, and they were working, and then they just kind of kept working. And then for math, they're just going to be on chromebooks again and i kind of just hang out and make sure everybody's doing their job so got a pretty easy day um i don't want to talk too long because i do want to eat my lunch but um yeah it's a little bit frustrating coming in the middle of the day because you kind of have to jump right in and there's not really time to introduce yourself like like you'd normally get to during a morning meeting or something so I kind of just had to do like an impromptu like, hey, this is me and um, stuff like that. But anywho, um, there are a couple things that are cool about this class. They have a flexible seating. So kids get to choose a different desk every morning and during work time they get to just work around the room wherever seems the best for them and they're all kind of working on different things which I think is really really cool that's kind of like the class that I want to have in the future so it's really cool to be in a class like that and just see all the cool things that they have I see that they have um let me show you quick this poster stuff on here about growth mindset and fixed mindset and all of that kind of stuff so I think that's really cool and an awesome way to run the classroom so yeah I'll try to talk to you guys later and I'll catch you then bye guys the day has finished up and despite being an easy day it was a little bit crazy and kind of stressful <laughs> I had to constantly keep telling the kids to be quiet um, but then we had an assembly and I'll insert a clip right here. So that assembly was like super fun, really like good team spirit, but it was really crazy, really loud, and quite a few kids came out of it like crying and really upset, which was kind of surprising to me. I thought it would be like, yeah, go Vikings and all that stuff, but a lot of kids got really upset by it, so that was kind of interesting. Um, otherwise, I still have 15 minutes, but I don't want to take my coat off because... I don't know, it goes by pretty quick, so I'm probably just going to hang out on my phone and just kind of do stuff. And I already wrote notes, and there's nothing else for me to really do, so I'm just going to hang out and probably scroll through Facebook or something until it's time to go. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. See you then, guys. Hey, everybody. It is Friday, and I'm doing another half day. 
in, as a special education teacher and um, yeah, I'm kind of excited. I'm just working with a few students one-on-one -on -one, and then it's the end of the week and I get to relax. So I'll kind of let you guys know how things go at the end of the day. Otherwise, um, yeah. So my half day is over. I honestly didn't do that much. Um, I helped a couple kids through some reading stuff, which was like some guided reading I showed you guys when they were doing the summary, which I wrote up for them, and then they just kind of copied. And the last student I was supposed to work with, the teacher said that they weren't really doing much and that I could go. So. I am just tidying up the room, getting packed up, and then I'm going to leave. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to be celebrating my birthday, so I'm really excited. And I will catch you guys next week. It should be a lot more exciting because I have full days almost every day. So I'll catch you guys next week. And thank you so much for watching. And see you guys then. Bye.